Come out to the middle to join Jatinder. He's got him twice in that over. Uh, Litanda, strike rate of 96. He would want to work on that in the GD20. His career strike rate is better than that. And first delivery of just 21 deliveries. Zahur Khan always get a better of him. Three innings he has bowled against him and has got him out all three times and hardly given any runs either. Short ball. One run to deep cover. Alex Hales was playing beautifully today. He really was. Slower ball into the surface. You can just see Alex Hales just swiveling. Even after, out of shot there when he's he knows he's hit it in the air. He feels he should have smacked it. Now, for me, I cannot see anything behind the line. I'm happy to be proven wrong. Leslie Reef is the third umpire, highly experienced. Cannot see anything behind that line. He's putting a nice length here again, going back of length. Easy single to square leg. And I would agree with you on that. It's very difficult to see anything behind. But a good power play, a really, really good power play for the Jaguars. Jatinder Singh got into the groove. He had three boundaries in the first over against Jimmy Neesham and then Alex Hales, who's had a quiet tournament, truth be told. He's heading home in a couple of days. Gotcha! He's had some real power today. Gotcha! Yeah, he's batted beautifully. Uh, and played all around the ground as well. Showed all the array of shots he has in his kitty. He can play all around the ground. And this is, again, a lovely shot. Room outside the off stump and cut through that vacant region by Jatinder Singh for another boundary. Well, Jaskar Singh, that's poor bowling. Jatinder Singh and Litsun Das, for that matter, both love hitting the ball square the wicket on the offside. They love the cut shot and they love running the ball down to deep third man. Way too wide. He got to bowl stump to stump to both Jatinder from Oman and Litsun Das. Yeah, quick hands as well. But that was a poor delivery. He'll be disappointed with that one, Jessica Singh. It's been expensive. 19 so far from his nine deliveries. He has got to finish well this over. Six already. And this one again. It's beautiful looking shot through extra cover. The fielder gets around it. It'll only be a couple, but a good looking shot. Well, Abby, when you're down in the dumps and the Panthers are struggling, let's not try and say it any other way. You've got to bring energy to the ground. You've got to bring something. You're not for four. You're on the brink of elimination. It's now or never. You have to bring as much energy, enthusiasm, love for the game as you can. Not just turn up and go through the motions. Because you turn up and go through the motions, you're out of the game before you're even, well, you're even in it. 68 for one off, 6.4. I need more from Shaul Malik and his teammates. Yeah, looking at the a bit flat at the moment on the field, no cheering up, no cheering going on. So they need a lot of fielders to back their bowlers. And that was a good slower delivery played nicely to that long run region for just a single. It's not just this season. You've got opportunities all around the world. People watching from all around the world are people, owners, coaches, captains thinking right. We might, get, we might not make the knockouts this year, but we have to start planning for next season. So, as a player, you've always got that in the back of your mind. You can't just go through the motions. You've got to put performances in. So far, not good enough from the Panthers. Another slower ball. He's bought a lot of slow deliveries in this over, just Karandeep Singh. After seven overs, it's 69 for one, Jaguars against the Surrey Jaguars again. It has been a disappointing tournament for them so far. They'll at least like to get a couple of wins under their belt. And this time Datta, who's been expensive in the first over, gone for 15 and started his over with a single. Again, drifting a little bit towards the pad of Jatinder Singh, who's again looking very good, 28 of 19. But from the Panthers' point of view, they need to get a wicket or two and they need to get it now. Reverse sweep, there's a chance, and there is a drop. It was an easy catch for Zahur Khan. 
this is a big miss. It really is a whore. It's a fairly routine catch. I know he's a big, fast bowler, and he's at short third. He should take that. And this time it might be out. There is a call for a leg before, but umpire saying no. It looked very close to me. I just think it was a little bit of spin. I reckon it was just turning down leg side. And this is a previous couple of balls ago. This is a simple catch. There's a hawk on the big quick. It makes the ground, actually overruns it. It's a really poor miss. It's not a great option. It's a very poor miss. Yeah, Nikhil Dutt has come back quite strongly after going for 15 in his first over. That catch should have been taken by Zahul Khan. Could have got a wicket of Litton Das, who can be a dangerous player later on once he's set. But Nikhil Dutt has been impressive in this competition. Mystery bowler, bowls a good carom ball, mixes it up with the off spin. It's got variety. I don't think, I think it was bat hitting the ground. Three reverse sweeps attempted in this over. One drop and two misses. No wide given on the reverse sweep, so keep an eye on his feet, keep an eye on his legs. Did the legs switch to make him into a left-hander? A bit surprised he wasn't given a wide. If there was no bat involved, there was no pad involved. It should have been a wide. The final delivery of this over, he needs to finish it well. He's just gone for three so far. He can't afford to give another boundary. Finishes well, just four of this over. After eight overs, the Jaguars, 73. The loss of one. And the uh, Jaguars off to a very good start here. Only one come. Mr. Saga Panthers have had a difficult season. They have looked rather sedate in the field so far, Ed Rainsford. Yeah, coming into this game, having not on, won on, or a big W in, in, in the standings or ba, 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 ba. as a team, heads will be definitely hanging. Oh, it's a lovely shot. It's beautiful. It will split the fielders. Might not get to the boundary. They'll pick a couple up here. Back in, back in. And the way they started today with the ball, ill-disciplined with some no balls and not really going with a certain plan, even though Alex Hales did play really well. And I was listening to Niall O'Brien talking about energy and talking about coming in with some sort of pride. Sometimes that's a difficult place to get yourself out of. It's, it's very difficult, having lost four in a row. What I will agree with is that it's your job. This is what you do for a living. It's not a hobby. It's not a part-time thing. So you come up every opportunity and try and get a win. There's 11 of you on the field. Yeah. And the Jaguars have achieved their first 50-plus partnership of the season. Gotcha! And then they lost Alex Hale and Hales, and now 18 off 18. Heard Litton Das and Jatinder Singh moving along nicely, but you make a good point. Ed, this, this is a professional game, and uh, T20 cricket, you got to turn around really quickly, pick yourself up. A new day, a new opportunity. Oh, man, coming to Toronto. Back in the day, if someone told me I'd come to, to Toronto and play cricket, switch hit. On that occasion, misses out. Yeah, it's quite interesting to try and play that shot. I know he's trying to get it over that field at backward point. Yeah, trying to manufacture something else, come off the glove and then onto the helmet. End of the over. Is it? Umpires. Somebody. Going upstairs to check whether it's over. Yes, it is. Or is he going for a concussion here? Concussion test. Yes, I think that might be what's happening. He got a little strike 
on the head in the face Jatinder Singh, so a bit of a concussion check. Goes through all the protocols, as is the norm in this case. And the case, and they'll also take a strategic timeout. In Kumar over, even easy for me to say. Concussion test also during that strategic timeout, so everything's okay. Happy to know that the player is safe. And a single to finish it. So six from the over, and after nine, the Jaguars are 79 for one. The one positive you can sort of take away from the Panthers is that they've sort of reined in the run rate to some degree. One only. Yes, the power play was a lucrative time for the Jaguars, but they've just been able to just drop it now to 8.73. At one stage, it was 10 and over 10 with Alex Hales at the crease and Jatinda Singh. And you just look at Litz and Das, they're 5 off 10. Here's the power play summary. 10 runs and over they were going at. Great guns, but now just slowing things down. Dutta, Abish drops into some space. Yeah, and can the Mississauga Panthers capitalize on this slowdown? They'll need wickets. It's actually 30 degrees, feeling like 33 degrees Celsius here. 60% humidity. So it's probably not that simple out there in the middle. Definitely feels hotter than all those numbers you've given me. <laughs> it is a warm day, very humid, but a stunning day nonetheless to play cricket. How beautiful is that venue, look, man. Wow. Yeah, it is beautiful. A bit of a backdrop of the freeway. And Toronto half an hour drive west of here. East, east of here. From a Jaguars point of view, yes, wickets in hand, a very good foundation that's been set to allow expression in the, the next sort of five or six overs. They'll be thinking with the start they had, they need to get close to that 172, 186, even 200. Yeah, that's gone fine. There's a fielder after it. I believe that's Zahor Khan, collects it nicely. He's attempted the shot a few times, Jatinder Singh. It hasn't quite come off. He, on this occasion, I know he's thinking short boundary, but uh, the percentage of risk and reward here with the, the ball not quite coming on. When the ball does come on, you can get use your hands and maybe create the pace as well with your hands and the pace out of the bowler's arm. Only one. Only one is the call. That's the over, so halfway staged. Jaguars are 86 for one. Not letting this momentum slip that they've got from the power play. That's cut away nicely. Yeah, they've got to be careful here. They might want to think about some insurance, Ed Rainsford. And if they do, I'd like to recommend Securian. They're our official insurance partner here at the GT20. Alex, you're too good for me. <laughs> Goodness. Well put together. There you go, confirmation. Official insurance partner. That beats a short point. Just the single again. Just back to your point, and you gave off some numbers about the middle overs. The good T20 sides, sometimes when they don't start well in the power play, or even if they do start well in the power play, the momentum of the game, they, they always find scoring opportunities throughout the 20 overs. There'll be a dip, and we saw in Manhattan a short while ago where one over sort of was startling in, in, in how many runs came in that particular over and how many the Jaguars couldn't get off it. But generally, there is a trend to keep it consistent with the scoring. 
and that's above six runs and over more than a runner ball and the middle overs are now being targeted by most sides by the more successful sides because they're always looking to score and in this particular game and this particular pitch there's one side of the ground that is very short both right-handers have not tried to score through the leg side in this particular over. Three balls gone. They've looked to really try and execute their scoring options through the offside. Yes, the bowler is trying to starve him. But I generally think if you're going to be dynamic, you get a cross onto off stump or be more creative in trying to free up the scoring options through the shorter side of the ground. White ball. Oh, dear. And not collected by Azam Khan either, just arms akimbo and hands out, heads to the skies. What's happening here? Surely he could have got something behind this. You something. Yeah, that's not pretty. That's not good. Shake of the head by him. Well, the Surrey Jaguars, their highest team score for the season is 141 for six. They're at 94 for one now on 10.3 at Rainsford. I'd like you to have a think about what, what they might be thinking as their target right now. That's another wide bit of cat and mouse here between batter and bowler. Well, with a bit of fielding as we saw a while ago and that indifferent bowling. Yes, he's trying to bowl it as wide as possible of all stump. You're now thinking about that 180, 200 firmly in your mind because you're also looking around and the body language isn't great from the Panthers. So the Jaguars have a real opportunity to look at those projections and try and get close to 200. Well, two was the call and good communication between Jatinder Singh and Nathan Das. Heads hanging to the Mississauga Panthers. Another aspect of the game that needs to be good is getting in and out of the blocks, and they were on that occasion. They weren't really strained in trying to pick up those two runs. Listen, Darcy's generally an opener. In fact, he, he always bats in the top three. So him coming in this position where he's trying to manufacture shots, Dear, eight balls bowled already in this over, and he's going to ha still have to bowl two. Yeah, it's beginning to look a bit messy, this over. It's turning into a lottery number. He's got to rally his troops here, Shoaib Malik. He's finally won a toss for the first time for the tournament, and he'll want a better performance from his bowlers at this stage. Feeling the heat zone work on, I can understand him. Yeah, change in the, in the field as third comes up into the circle and uh, Mudoff goes out to long off top of his screen. That's a better line. Fraction straighter on that occasion. And he has to be careful bringing up third into the circle, and his intention has to be bowling wide of off stump. That can be an easy carve away through the offside to pick up four. So Zahu Khan has to be really on the button here. He's already bowled a number of wides already. So a pressure to try and close off the over, a delivery to go. charge but very well fielded collected backed up he gets a clap from his bowler and that's the over 12 from it 11 gone 98 for one it. away good shot well fielded that's better cricket you've gone past the halfway or your allotted halfway overs, and now you're going into what is needs to be a positive stage of the game. And I think the player to take this by the reins is Litton Das. He needs now to start expressing himself. 10 off 16, striking at 62. He's a 
he's a fantastic player, wonderful stroke maker is Litton Das. Yeah, struggling a little bit to get it away. Yeah, strike rate of 58, he's struggling, he's ticking. 10 off 17. Oh, he's got hold of that one. He heard you, the 28-year-old from Bangladesh. Just the single, back up, back up. though. Yeah, heard me and found the field. It's the bigger part of the ground. So when you're not really hitting the ball as nicely or as well as you generally do, on that occasion, just went through the hands a little too quickly and closes the face of the bat. So doesn't get the gap that he's trying to penetrate. It's not getting that shot away at all. Well, the partnerships moved on to 41 from 39, but the last 30 balls, 33 runs, just run a ball. Not taking advantage here, the Surrey Jaguars. Yeah, they're shaving off what could be a really good total at the end. That's better, that's lifted over the infield, but it will find the fielder again. struggling to find the gaps there's a lovely shot from the drone camera big shout out to all of our production crew working so hard here at the gt20 it's the mid wicket camera Peron. that's it he's on 43 just a single the partnership builds beautifully yes Seems like they're on course to see the biggest score of the season. If that happens, they could get there. Even if they get six and over, that could be the biggest total so far in the GT20 this year. That's gone all the way. That's gone for six. Oh, no, yes, it has. Six. It is six. Hit the advertising cushion on the four, so six runs it is. Yeah, it was, it was a brilliant shot. And the right intent again shown by Jatinder Singh, he's batted magnificently. 49 of 34, a little dance down the track and then against the spin, never easy. Well controlled shot. Brings the sweeper into play. Now their highest score before today was 141 and has been a bit of a stop-start campaign for the Surrey Jaguars. So they've got some real momentum going now. 50 for Jatinder, batted beautifully. 50 of just 35 deliveries took the responsibility when Alex Hales departed and good partnership between these two as well nice to see him give that uh, salute after getting the 50 that's uh, more runs another boundary they waited nicely for that one Litton Das he's getting in his groove as well now waited there was a deep cover fielder he knew he had to hit it slightly later to get past that point fielder exactly what he did Beautiful. They've raced past that 50 stand. That brings up 58 now. The stand of 45 balls between these two guys. The first time that they've had a 50 partnership uh, this season. Oh, quicker that time. Smashed <laughs> it straight to the bowler. Non striker was in a bit of trouble for a minute. Jatinder Singh. But at the end, boy, no harm done. Boys. It's a big over, 12 from it. Well ball, and a dot ball, ball to finish. You thought that was going to be a wide, did Litton Das? It wasn't, so 12 from it. 118 for one. No. Welcome to them. Nice to have one on board. Shab Malik now is going to be uh, introducing himself into the attack. Yeah, I think one of them needs to go now. With Shoheb Malik, there's a massive opportunity to make it a big over, go with the spin. Reverse sweep. Fired quicker. It seems like Shoheb Malik preempted what the batter is going to try and do and bowled a very quick delivery, fired it in. Good keeping by Azam Khan as well. Certainly hasn't had too much uh, success with those uh, shots so far, didn't us? Yeah, fired it in again and just rang down the next stump. Will be a wide. 
Yeah, you know that both these batters are not trying to hit anything on that side because it's massive boundary, 75 meter boundary. You really have to make proper connection for the ball to travel all the way. But I still feel that's a better option going with the spin rather than going for the reverse. So you're not going to give it too much air. Oh, that one is. Only one. Just toss that one up. Down to Carl Connell. The first uh, two Hello, deliveries were nice and fast from uh, Sharp Malik, but decided to flight the third. It's tempting the batter to go for that big shot. He tried to. That was tossed up quite a lot from Shoaib Malik. Good to see. Now, Litton Das, will he go for that big glory shot over Cow Corner, long on? Futas just picks that off. Yeah, firing it through. Shoaib Malik has bowled three quicker deliveries in this over, one tossed up. I can't believe how quiet the Panthers are. There is no encouragement whatsoever. Got to get a little bit more mat animated out there, I think. Somehow they've got to make things happen. It's tucked around the corner. Chris Gale scampers. Just the one. It seems like you're watching a team you know who's lost four games in a row. Absolutely pinned of silence. There's nobody cheering. There's no clapping. But they need to do a bit better than that. Yes, it'll be difficult for them to qualify, but you still need to go out there and play your best cricket. It seems to me they're resigned to chasing a big total here, and they're just going through the motions to a certain extent. Oh. Made that into a Yorker, had to jam down to the last minutes. Lytton Das, he's uh, been stop-start, Lytton Das, today. Just have a feeling he might pull in the reverse sweep again, which he's tried so many times and failed so many times. It seems an easy option. At this point in time, for Litton does. It's a normally bad at a 72 strike rate. Only one, only one boy. You've probably heard the call of two. No, no, they no, should no, go no. to touch and turn. No, they just settle for the one. Five off that over. Easily done. 14 overs gone. 100 overs remaining in the innings. To continue with this rate, they get to 175. They go at uh, 10, so they'll be the 190 mark. Uh, correction, 180 mark. 11 is the 190. Yeah, they should try and get to at least 10 and over from here with nine wickets in hand. Two set batters, partnership of 63 or 54. You'd expect them to go at least at 10 and over. It's a good pitch as well. Sing now. First two overs went for 22. It's in the uh, bread basket. But in so many games we have seen, uh, it's been a difficult to get runs at the end. But Jitender Singh, how well has he batted? Played some excellent shots. He played all around the ground. Showed great game awareness as well. That's it. Hit the right bowlers to play the right shots. That was a lovely shot. Dancing down the track, going against the spin. Never easy. Yeah. His first 50 in the GD20. New team, of course, the Surrey Jaguars. Good to see him play so well. Yeah, what's he thinking here, the bowler? Having a little chat with the captain, Shoheb Malik, mid-off up. Is he going to dig it short with three fielders outside the circle on the leg side? Looking to just waltz across and try and hit it nice and fine. He needs to be a little bit stronger. I think both these guys at times, and, and Jatinder Singh has played beautifully, he really has. So I don't want to be too critical about him, but Das, I think he's got to be a little bit more positive down the ground with some of his shots. We've seen too many miss hit attempts square particularly uh, with the reverse he's got to be a bit proactive here Litton does he's tried but has not succeeded so far and that was a little lap he wanted to play in the previous delivery over Chris Gale it's gonna bring the sweeper into play they'll try and come back for the second this time they do he timed it beautifully again. Jatinder. Yeah, that's it. He's played some really good shots and partnership of 66 of just 57 deliveries. If you look at the contribution, majority of them has come from Jatinder's bat, 35 of 26. And Litton Das, 19 of 27. He's chewed up a lot of deliveries, which has put a lot of pressure on Jatinder. Got some power hitters to come. The captain, Iftikar, he uh, loves batting towards a death of a T20 game.
a bit, couldn't control it. It's gone over the top of Muslim Khan. Full safety. They might better come back for the second. Nope, decide against it. Could have done on that arm, I guess. Thought about it also when it uh, went past Singh the bowler. Yeah, got a bit lucky. Could have gone straight up to Azam Khan, but just dropping behind him, allowing them to get a run. The line was good, an extra bounce. Made sure that uh, it was too high to control properly. And no wonder they bought pace to try and break the shackles to try and get a wicket they need wicket here desperately the Panthers the spinners have hardly got any wickets in this competition they are going at an average of 49 economy is pretty high 8.41 now's the time they need to start thinking about this short boundary I've been going along nicely up until now third man has just come inside the circle it's only 60 yards if uh, hits leg side goes long has he gone far enough neeson has got good hands it's over the top and that's gone for six it was a slow delivery. He picked it quite nicely and early as well. Litton Das, we were talking about that. He needs to go at some point. He needs to break the shackles. And that was an excellent shot. Back of the hand slow delivery. Just delayed his shot. Waited there. Picked it up early. And off she goes. Nisham with his great effort, but it was too far from him. It was telegraphed a bit by moving that uh, fine, uh, third man rather inside the circle. The, the batsman knew it had to be a slower delivery, but fine leg inside the circle also. But it was just a floater. And in the slot as well. If you want to blow that slower delivery, you've got to dig it in the surface. Well, that's hard also with a short boundary when a batsman's in. But anyway, now they put that third man back. It's the standard pace on delivery. Just slanting in a fraction. 10 off the over, 15 gone, 133 for one. So that, that 30 degrees Celsius is uh, a reading taken in the shade. Yeah, it's been a very, very warm day, but still great to see so many people turning out and supporting their respective teams. It's a great atmosphere out here, even though it's hot. And great to see so many kids coming to the grounds and supporting their heroes. It's a great opportunity for everyone in Canada to come and watch some live cricket, some good players playing in front of them. Bit of medium pace from Cameron Dorport. Keeper up to the stumps. Hey! That's outside the line. Might have been a little bit of uh, connection, but certainly outside the line. It's the eighth reverse sweep they have tried as a pair and managed to get only four runs. And that was a buy, so you can say three runs off the bat. <laughs> Give it up, guys. Give it up. Exactly. It's high time. They should realize it. They're better off hitting the ball down of town. This is a friendly full toss. <laughs> very lucky that the impact was outside the off stump. Could have been very close. Drive that one straight. You've got four runs. Yes! That's hit high. Cameron Dorport might be in the game with a wicket. Second ball. Here's. Mover in the lineup today takes that catch. Had plenty of time to think about it. Yeah, as a batter, you've got to be smart as well. That's the big side of the ground, 75 meter long, and you're trying to pump the bowler over mid wicket when there is no pace on offer. Just got to be a bit smart. And Litton Das struggled. He's out for 25 or 30 balls, and it's time for a strategic timeout.